The only thing nicer than getting a present is seeing the customized gift tag or label on the wrapping. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a simple holiday gift label in PaintShop Pro, and you can use these techniques for any type of label. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. A gift label or tag could be a small card or sticker, which you can have printed in a store or via an online service, or you can buy ready-made templates and print at home. In my example, I have a set of label templates, set up to print 14 labels sized 4.19 by 1.33 inches. At the end of the tutorial, I'll show how to add the images I create to the template. In PaintShop Pro, I'm in the Edit space, and I'll click the New icon. I'm not using a standard size, so I'll set up the 4.19 by 1.33 size under User Presets, keep the resolution at 300 pixels per inch, and click OK. I'll be using the Layers and Materials palettes, and if they weren't already open, I could find them in the Palettes menu. I have a PNG file with some holiday symbols I want to use on a transparent background, which I'll bring in using File Open and keep it off to the side. I'll go back to my label image, which I want to have a uniform border. In the Materials palette, I'll click the foreground color swatch, and I could define a new color in the Material Properties window, or use the eyedropper to sample a color on screen, which will be the green from a holly leaf. After clicking OK, that color appears in the palette. Then, with the Flood Fill tool, I'll click the image to fill it with that green. I now want to create an inner rectangle offset inward from the image border. I'll press Ctrl A to select what I have so far, and choose Selections, Modify, Contract. The offset distance will be 25 pixels, and after clicking OK, I have the inner rectangle selected. Now I can set a neutral color I want to use for the body of the label, and because Flood Fill is still active, I can just click to apply. To deselect the rectangle, I'll press Ctrl D. To bring in one of the symbols, I'll activate the selection tool, drag a marquee around the bells, and press Ctrl C to copy. Going back to the label image, I'll press Ctrl V to paste. The graphic comes in with its own layer, and I can adjust it by activating the pick tool, dragging a corner to resize, moving into place, and rotating a bit. I now want to add a simple to from text to the right. I'll activate the text tool, and from the font dropdown, I'll find something festive. For the font color, I'll click the background swatch and sample a red from the bow. I could also have just right clicked on a red in the palette. To start the text, I'll click near the top and start writing, pressing Enter for line breaks, keeping the text left justified, and double clicking when finished. Now I can move the text and resize if needed. To center both the text and the graphic, I'll go back to the Pick tool, and the text is already selected, so I'll press Shift and click the bells to add them to what's selected. In the toolbar, I'll click Align Vertically Center, and now this label is finished. For a little variety in my gift labels, I'll create a couple more, with different graphics. I'll use File Save As, and save as a PSP image so that the layers will be preserved. Then I'll use File, Save Copy As, and save the same file twice under different names. Now I can open the copies I just saved, and in each one, right-click and delete the layer with the graphic. Now I can use the same copy-paste steps to bring in a different graphic for each label, each time using the Pick tool to resize and move. Now I'm all done, and it's time to print. As I mentioned before, I want to print at home, and I already have my template, which is by Avery. I can find hundreds of templates by choosing File, Print Layout, then clicking Open Template. Under Avery, the one I want is here, which contains space for 14 labels. My three label images are along the left, and I can drag to fill in each slot to print several of each label per page. When my sheet is ready, 
the print button is right here. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on creating a gift label in PaintShop Pro. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. Thank you.